I'm Jocelyn Kirby. I'm one of the authors on a publication entitled Narrative Review of Flair and Hydradenitis. We did this study because we felt it was important to figure out what flair was. We had been hearing this term from our patients and starting to read it more in clinical trials. This study was important to us because we wanted to understand what flair was so we can better measure it moving forward. This is an important part of the core outcome set for Hydradenitis superativa, a collection of outcomes that have been deemed crucial for the next step of clinical trials in Hydradenitis. So we looked into the literature to see what flair was, how it had been defined in existing papers. We did a search of PubMed in 2018, at the beginning and at the end. What we found were 247 papers that mentioned the term flair or the closely related term exacerbation. When we reviewed those papers, we ultimately included 154 of them. Among those papers, two of them had definitions for flair, one of them had a definition for exacerbation. All three of the definitions for flare and exacerbation took an approach of lesion counting, looking at an increase of one or more lesions. This is similar to publications that have come out since our search. One of them included an increase in symptoms or more of a patient perspective uh, relating an increase in worsening for a new lesion or existing lesion. What are the next steps? We want to figure out how these definitions, which have taken the perspective more of the clinician report, how do they match or not match against patient perspective of flair? As we take these two things moving forward, we can find more of a consensus definition for flair and incorporate it into future trials so we can make an impact on this important aspect of hydranitis.